What's up, boys and girls? My name is Jeffrey Scott Mitchell, and I'm feeling goodish today. Yesterday, I had one of my sinus headaches, and though these headaches don't put me in severe pain, it's more of a discomfort, nasal pressure, pressure behind my eyes, but more so, it's a heaviness, and it takes my usually good spirits away. It's like it's, it dampens my overall energy energy and energetic lifestyle pursuit. I'm making up words. As you can see, it's sunny. I'm feeling good. Dur. Then yesterday. Gooder means that I'm feeling better than good. Good is feeling better than okay. I'm used to feeling gooder. I'm used to having my energy up. Wake up in the morning. Ooh, it's today. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What are we gonna do today? What are we gonna do today? Thinking about things I need to do. Wake up even excited about having to work in storage over the weekend. That tells you something right there. That should tell you something right there. Where you gotta wake up not able to wait to get to work in your storage that's feeling good my name is Jerry Scott Mitch I'll finish this up later where was I okay I was saying that usually I feel really good and for like months and months and months I felt really good and you forget, I forget how good feeling good feels until I don't feel good anymore. When that energy is gone. And yesterday was one of those days after a couple weeks. For a while there, I think I was even back in Ohio. Wherever I was, my sinuses was acting up. And it was to the point to where my nose would start running. I start feeling that nasal drip in the back or whatever. I look at the weather calendar. It's gonna rain in a day and a half. It's almost like clockwork. And I guess as I get older, through my life I haven't had that many ailments. Or I haven't had that many impediments to my health or happiness. Maybe getting older, this is what it's about. Maybe you got to handle them. You know, I got good insurance. I'll go to the doctor. Got no problem with that. Working on some other stuff anyway. Working on, um, working on, uh, my teeth. Thinking about getting, uh, the tummy tuck and stuff. So, you know, I'm paying attention to myself. And I'm trying to keep the body going. I figure I gotta work at least until I'm 70 to get the maximum retirement of Social Security. Plus, I don't need to retire anyway. I can't even handle two days off, let alone the rest of my life. Oh, I'll get something to do on the side. Oh, I'll travel. Oh, I'll. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Good luck with that, people who so want to retire. I wish you well. I'm just saying it don't work for me. I don't think it'll work for me. I need to get up, have something to go after. I need to get up, have something to go after. And it's nice that there's a metric in there with a high level of competition, quote unquote, competition, coworkers who also can provide relatively competitive performance scores. To wake up, to drive that, to be happy with the company and the people you work with, working from freaking home, making more money than you ever made, doing a job that you love. And the part about your job that you love the least, you're finding out might be one of the reasons why you're still happy in the damn job after seven years, because usually you know, four or five years, 
three, four, five years, I got it all figured out and I'm ready to go. You know, I'm like, my daughter, I just got a flash on my screen. It said my daughter posted something. I couldn't understand what it said. It said, Kimberly, blah, blah, and blah, blah, others. And it stopped. So I'm like, is it her birthday today? <laughs> I thought it was going to say, Kimberly and so and so. I else have birthdays today or something. I'm like, hmm? did I miss something? But, yeah, the job, it, like I said, the thing that I may least like about the job may be the thing that keeps me going. Talking to people, those phone calls. They are incessant sometimes. It's one after the other. People t telling you what they need. They need this. You know, pulling from you constantly. And with the metric I set for myself and the level of performance that I strive to achieve, you know, I just got to bang them out. I got to bang them out. Looked at my performance review. The early metric from last month, February, I got 100%. The thing that was keeping me back to my job performance was at the end of my call, I wasn't saying, is there anything else I can help you with? That was like a 20% hit or something. So for a few months there, I was like, I ain't saying it. Then I looked at my performance numbers. I was like, okay, damn it. I'm going to say it, but I ain't going to like it. Even told my bosses that. And I teased them about it. As soon as I see them, is there anything else I can help you with? Tell them how happy I am saying that after every damn thing. As patronizing as it is, even people know that. Some people come now because they know it's just a script. And sometimes I can slip it in there and it doesn't sound so scriptish. Sometimes I put it in there deliberately to sound scriptish and intrusive and interruption-y. interruption -y. I just made it up. You can use it. Send me royalties. But, so now my performance is up like 98. It was 98, 99, and now 100. Last month I had to top performance in the whole of my whole team. And I wasn't getting that consistently because I wasn't saying that. Is there anything else I can help you with? So life is good, sunshine, I feel good. Just got, I got back from New Orleans a couple of weeks ago, whatever. P Funk, good show, hanging out. Food, just life is just good. And I know it. And I even know it when the sinus thing happens and my energy is down. And I'm laying in the bed thinking, oh God, oh, you know, not having pity on myself, wallowing in whatever that is and I just feel so ugh. but then I know that I've been to the Eiffel Tower I've been to Stonehenge I've seen the pyramids and I'll continue to do stuff like that but even with all that going on and all the capability and resources I have and the foundation of my life which is strong and so so good and orchestrated the way I want it, constructed to respond to my passions and to my needs and the organization and the managerial of my objects and my possessions and everything, the whole thing. Sometimes with all that, even though like next week I'm flying to so-and-so place to do this, even with all that going on, there are moments where I can sink down and wallow and not pity, but despair. And it truly feels like that it'll never, I'll never get be happy again. I'll never be happy gooder. I'll never be gooder again. It truly feels that I'll never be gooder again. So, like now I'm walking, I'm feeling a little bit of nasal stuff going on. Not quite irritation, but I can feel stuff going on. Watch this. Nope, that wasn't nothing. That was mostly spit. 
but you get the point, don't you? i'll be back.